Good day, YouTubers. Got a couple things going on today I thought I'd share with you. First of all, a rifle wrist update. Put my initials on here. It's made out of wood. Not initials, my name. I'm not crazy about the font. Whatever you want to call it for this alphabet. Some letters look like capital letters. Some look like small case letters. But anyway, I glued these letters on here last night. And some of the glue was on top, so I just got through sanding them. I don't know whether to stain it or what. I've got some polyurethane here. I'm thinking about doing the whole rifle rest in polyurethane. Might help keep some of the dust off of it. But that's another day. Besides this rifle rest update, a couple other things I want to talk about. I put a wooden handle on here. Yeah, I got it a little off center, but it works. A piece of dogwood that was sawed off from my walking cane I made some time back. So I made that much progress with that. But I got something going on outside today. I had to come in and get a dust mask. I've been in the garage. Dragging out, of all things, a drill press. It's an old China-made drill press. It's got some rust on it. So I'm going to clean that booger bear up. See about bringing it in here. But there's no place to put it except right here. So i got to move my train horn sometime today. Maybe I can make a bracket to hang my train horn on the wall. That would make a nice... Look, my CB radio needs to get put away. Put me a rough piece of plywood up here. I don't know why I'd want to protect this wood finish on this thing, but put me a piece of plywood up there anyway and put my drill press right there. That is providing it works. Now, the thing about this drill press, I bought it, I'm going to say, 30 years ago. It's some kind of little tool sale. One of them made in China places. It's definitely made in China. The writing on it's Chinese. But the thing about this drill press you're fixing to see is I bought it for, I'm going to say around $40. I believe that's what I paid for it. All right, spastic. Oh, going the wrong way. No wonder it fell out. But I need a wire brush to knock the rust off the drill press. It's been sitting in my garage for all them years. And would you believe... Where's my safety glasses? What do these goggles to do? I had some safety glasses here somewhere, and I don't know where I put them. That's one thing about organizing and cleaning. Damn, you don't know where you put nothing. But the thing about this drill press is accumulated some rust. I don't know if it'll even run. Get all decorated up for y'all. I'm going to do my baseball hat. I don't need it. I'm going to have my helmet cam on. Walter's ready. Let's get after it. The drill press was on a file, an old file cabinet out in the garage. It was covered with dust, fiberglass. I dusted it off. There she is, my friends, in all her glory. And when I say I've never run it, I ain't. Look at that, the cord still wound up. Think I would wind up anything that neat? Some Chinaman winded that thing up. I guess we could put some tape right there. Switch works. I got rust all in this shaft here. That definitely needs to be rusted and de-rusted and cleaned up. But I thought I'd knock the rust off out here before I even think about bringing it in the basement. <laughs> I 
Some of you are probably laughing about this drill press, but it's the only closest I'll ever get to owning a drill press. Believe it or not, I actually found the chuck key in the garage. What are the odds of that? I hope it's the chuck key. I hadn't tried it yet. Wouldn't it be a kick in the butt if that ain't the right chuck key? Seems to work. Might not be the right one, but it works. We'll get the rust off and put a little coat of oil on it, whether it ever runs or not. That's probably made out of steel that used to be a Budweiser can or something. And again, now it's a big country, they might have their own iron mill. I don't know. Might be asking yourself, why would he let a drill press get in that condition? Well, you remember, I was working for the railroad, and I didn't have time for any shop work. I was sometimes working 16 hours a day at the railroad. The drill press is in the basement moved a bunch of stuff over there. I might have to make me a bracket for my horns. And now I'll put them on a file cabinet over there. That light's probably blinding my camera. Now this drill press, maybe some of you can help me out with it. First of all, let's see if the darn thing will run. My look will probably blow every fuse in the house. Well, I successfully got it plugged in. Didn't it look cute me when I touched it? Got my fingers crossed, friends. Here goes. Nothing happened. That's not a good sign. It's humming. It was humming. What do you got to do to get it to turn, Walter? We have power! Watch them! Come quick! I need you! Okay, I got to assume maybe it just was corroded up on the brushes. Now this thing has a tensioning device that I don't know how to work. And the RPMs for the fan, uh, various speeds. If it shows in the camera or not, I'll have to learn how to set the belt. Of course, I wouldn't advise touching them belts while it's plugged in. Look, look, let's unplug it. I guess you got to derail one, put it on the other one. Oh, I, I got you. I let the tension off right here.
Maybe some of you can tell me how to work this. I'm sure some of you have one of these things. I'm glad it turns anyway. Shows promise. That's the first time that motor has ran since since Mohammed went to Peking. got the belt pushed right off of the darn spring. wonder how tight it should be. Probably not all that darn tight. Break the belt. Oh, I got it. The spring is supposed to give it some shock. Anyway, Walter needs to learn how to work this thing. Somehow I don't feel like that's the right chuck key, it's slipping. Alright, if some of you people would take the time to explain to me, I probably could look it up on Google, the best speeds to run for drilling. I would imagine drilling steel, you want a slower speed. Whereas a faster speed for wood. Let's see if this thing will drill a hole. That shouldn't be regular. What are we hitting? a hole. Now we got a mess to clean up. Good golly, Miss Molly. Walter drilled a hole. Well, obviously, we need to move the drill press stand to a better location where it'd be easy to clean up your mess when you get there drilling. Clean up the basement and then make a mess with the drill press. Ain't that something pretty? Most out of the yard sale or auction or somewhere. I'm going to repair it, but I haven't got around to do it. I don't know where the right shade is for that thing. 
Okay, this drill press is a model ZJ4110 half inch chuck Morse 20 spindle, whatever that means. Manufactured 1994. Serial number YA. Made in China. Okay, let's unbelt. Undo the belt. Okay, we're on the third pulley down. And the third pulley up. Looks like we were going 1510 RPMs. Something's bent or rattling. The lid was knocking. Maybe I had the motor up too tight. Take a whole lot of wobble in it, that's good. I already got a use for this thing. I can make me a drum sander. Let's go get on Google and learn how to make ourselves a drum sander to put in that thing. Thanks for watching my friend.